Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 25 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, uh, let's first start off by creating a cylinder using auto grid. Right about here, bring it out. Zero or one height segment, 20 sides. Convert to edges of a poly, polygon, select that. Select the edges, chamfer, chamfer on a bit, polygon, uh, inset it about 0.73, mm, and extrude about uh, 50. Okay, and select. these edges and loop and chamfer about 0.11 and then you're going to want to copy it and rotate it 180 degrees and then sync it in to the side over here okay next attach uh, select those two polygons and bridge. All right. Um, now select that entire thing and just um, oh. All right. Just scale it that way so you get it a bit smaller then push it back make sure it doesn't touch this thing alright um, let's start building a door so we're going to want to create a box just about here and about that wide bring it out so 25.5 by 35.1 by 0.5 okay convert to edges of poly polygons like that edges chamfer Okay, next we're going to want to select the inside polygon here and give it an inset of about 1.35 and grow, deselect that, um, extrude these by about point or point 0.4 okay and then give them a small bevel all right um next let's build a box Build it about here. I'm going to hide in a bit. Alright. Convert to editable poly. Edges. Select this edge and this edge. Oops. This edge. Connect uh, twice. Select this polygon here. Extrude about 0.5 and then just like this extrude by about 1.2 select um, just select all these edges right here connect them once just like this polygon and this polygon 
and extrude those by about 0.5. Edge, select this edge and the internal edge there. Connect, and connect them twice. Okay, select this, 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 and this, and extrude. Alright, and lastly, use hinge from edge, pick hinge there, 90 and 9. Okay, and extrude inward till it hits. Alright, uh, next, build a cylinder using auto grid about that wide. Bring it up. Increase the height a lot. Drag it down to about there. So it lines up right there. Uh, increase the height. Oops. Uh, until it reaches about there. Looks pretty good. And move it inward. pretty good right there. Convert to editable poly, polygon, select that polygon, and select this bottom one here. Um, select their edges and chamfer them. Okay, select the polygons again, inset them a bit, about 0.13. And give them a slight outward extrusion of about 0.2. Select the edges, oops, edges, and chamfer them one last time. All right, now select this piece right here. In the edge mode, select all of these edges and. And loop them, and then select. That should be pretty good, actually. Just chamfer them. Give them a small chamfer. All right. Uh, and go to polygons. Select or edge. Sorry. Select this edge and this edge. Connect. Okay, select this polygon, inset, okay, and bevel it inward just a bit. Bring it up a bit, alright. Let's like this edge, edit a little poly here. And in the front view, drag it down a bit, and then drag another one down to match it. Okay. Um, let's see. Right. Um, next, let's build a handle thing. So, cylinder. Just create a cylinder approximately between these two things. About ooh, that big looks pretty good. It's a radius of 4.1 and a height of 0.617. Convert to edit poly, polygons, like there, chamfer. A pretty big chamfer, polygon. Inset. Give it a little inset there. Extrude about negative point three or neg negative point two actually. Alright. Select the edges and chamfer. Just a bit. And that'll be it for part 25. I'll see you in part uh, 26.